Howdy, everybody. I'm Bob Tallman. Welcome to Strathmore and the Heritage Days Roundup and Celebration. The tall, handsome man with me has been here 25 years. In the few years that I've been here with you, you've been here with Bill Kaler. You're the voice of this rodeo and of the chuck wagons, as you are at the Calgary Stampede and all across the Northland. This little rodeo, which is a big venue in Canadian Pro Rodeo, and it matches all of that with everything in the United States, um, God, it's a fun place to be. How do you look at it? It really is, Bob. And, you know, I've been coming here, like you said, this is my 25th year. And I remember when I first started coming here 25 years ago, and I was just doing chuck wagons then, and Bill Kaler was doing the rodeo. And uh, we talked many times of how, you know, this rodeo someday is going to be one of the biggest rodeos in Canada. And I've had the pleasure of watching it do that. And I had the pleasure of working with Billy for many years and now with you for many years. And, you know, we see every year the Cowboys want to come to Strathmore. The money is there because the stock is there. And from the rodeo side of things, it's just gotten bigger and better every year. It's the Cowboys rodeo because, you know, the fans are nice and close. It's a people's rodeo because the fans can sit 20 feet from the, from the contestants and get dirt on them, and they like that. Same thing in the wagon business, you know. The track here is great. It's a, it's a fan-friendly thing for chuck wagon racing fans and rodeo fans alike. It's just it's amazing. And I love coming here because I get to work with you. Thank you, sir. One of the reasons I think people like to come here could be the camping, the outdoor atmosphere. Um, we have a, a campground here on the Heritage Days ground that is second to none any place in North America. So if you've got a small camper, a big camper, a fifth wheel trailer, a motor home, you can come here and there's a social atmosphere at Strathmore, Strathmore that might be a uh, big high, uh, higher than any other place in the country. Well, it's, it's rodeo made easy for the fans. Yeah. You turn in off the road, you drive 150 feet, 250 feet, they've got it all mapped out. You can park your diesel pusher or you can park your tent trailer. Or if you've got a tent, put it under a tree. There's lots of them here. So it's so easy to get into, doesn't cost a lot of money. And we're watching, and they are watching, Bob, rodeo cowboys and cowgirls that compete at the Canadian Finals Rodeo, the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. They're getting the best of the best, and you don't have to get on an airplane or the LRT or pay a thousand bucks to go through the gate. Well, a lot of people don't realize we're only, um, by the way, the crow flies 45 minutes from downtown Calgary. We're uh, only four hours from the American border. Uh, if you're coming from Edmonton that way, I don't care if you're coming from British Columbia, where all of our, a lot of our contestants on the West Coast come from. If you look at this rodeo as a quarter of a million dollar payout, of all of our events, and that's the boys novice and bronc riding and bareback riding with it, the boys steer riding that goes with it, the wild horse race that goes with it. There's nine events here that are paid into that quarter of a million dollars. That's a big deal. From a cowboy's standpoint, Bob, you and I have both seen it. You get a cowboy or a contestant that's sitting, you know, mediocre, 15th spot, 12th spot, and he's trying to get to the Canadian Finals Rodeo. He's trying to get to the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. You get first place check here in Strathmore and bingo, you're there. And we talked earlier today, the boys steer riders, first place is over $1,200. You go to three rodeos and you're going to the Canadian Finals Rodeo if you win this one. It's all about the money when you get to either the Canadian Finals Rodeo or the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. And the way Strathmore pays out and the facility they've got for these cowboys to compete in, it's a gold mine. Well, the gold mine would be as if all of you would come and join us. Les and I invite you to do so. All of our Heritage Days Committee and the Ag Society would invite you as well. Strathmore, Alberta, Canada. Where is it? It's the place where you need to be next. Come camp. Come get a hotel. Just come be a part of our Heritage Days weekend.